we're about to cover setting up effects, buses, and auxes in Logic Pro X. Okay, in Logic's main window, we're gonna talk about how to set up effects, buses, and auxes inside of Logic. So if we wanna add a reverb or any kind of time-based effect to our lead vocal, we wanna do so in a send return format. This means that we're gonna send a copy of the vocal to a bus or an aux track that has a time-based effect on it and then it mixes together at the final output. To do this, we're not going to add the time-based effect to the audio effects portion here, but instead we're going to set up a send to send a copy of the signal. So with our vocal track selected, we can go over to the inspector and set up a send. You can also do this in the mix window of Logic using the same functionality. So let's go to send and we're going to go down to bus and choose bus 1. We're going to use this exclusively for reverb. Now when I select bus 1, you'll actually see that it created an aux track for me. So to the right in the inspector, instead of seeing the stereo out channel strip, we now see a channel strip that's labeled aux1. And if we hit X on our keyboard and go to the mix window, you're going to see that it actually added an aux track for me here in the mix window called aux1. And now this has a send going to aux1. We can relabel this aux by simply double clicking on the name. We're going to call it reverb. Now on the audio effects of this aux track, we're now going to add a reverb. We're going to use one of Logic's built-in plugins for this. Under reverb, it's called Space Designer. And we're going to use a version that goes from mono and creates an actual stereo reverb. From here, since we have a send return format, we can go ahead and keep our dry signal all the way down and we can pump up our, our wet signal here. Now, the way we actually get this vocal to play through the reverb is we would just go to the send, which is this little knob here. And if you click it and drag, you'll actually see we can increase the level. This is mixing in more of the vocal to the reverb. So as we go up, the reverb will become louder. And as we go down, the reverb will become quieter. Now this isn't affecting our original dry vocal. We still have our dry vocal track, but it's actually just mixing in some of the wet vocal at the final mix because this aux track is actually sent to the stereo out as well. Let's go ahead and listen back and I'll slightly increase the reverb so you can hear the difference. Let's go ahead and solo our vocal. Baby, there's something that I'd like to say And I hope that my words don't get in the way But there's something that you all know Baby, there's something that I'd like to say and that's how to set up a time-based effect via a send-return format using an aux and a bus in Logic. You've been talking here with me, John, at the SAE Institute, and we just covered how to set up effects, buses, and auxes in Logic Pro X. For more tutorials like this, please visit usa.sae.edu.